Hello and Guru Scott. This is part four of our video series on this still in supercharger install on my 2011 Nissan Xterra. Where we left off last, we had taken off the fuel rails for the passenger and driver's side, and um, we extracted the injectors. And uh, by the way, when you take them out, you have to pull them real hard. It's pretty much a two person job. One person holds the rail, the other person pulls them out nice and smooth, and they pop out like that. And when you put them back in, you're going to have to lubricate them with some um, O-ring lubricant. I use Crytox. So now what we're doing is we have to modify the wiring loom. So on the driver's side of the vehicle, we have to extend the three injector um, uh, plugs by this length right here. So what I've done is I've already soldered the wires on to the wire. I cut the wires at different points so that if they were to short out, they wouldn't touch each other, theoretically. And I also double insulated them with heat shrink. So this yellow you see is one long piece of heat shrink, and the black on top of it is another piece of heat shrink, which should make it very, very good. So then I'm going over to the vehicle, and I'm installing them there. And we'll come around and show you how that worked out in just a little while. So we're back, and what we've done now is we wired on the driver's side. We extended the wiring on all these and put the uh, wire looms on. And then um, the other ones we extended as well, which um, all are spelled out in the manual. So the next thing we have to do is we have to come over here and cut these tabs down. There's three tabs here. So we're going to have to use a Dremel on that and a vacuum cleaner. So we'll get those cut down very carefully, and then um, we will start to install the fuel rails next. So what we've done now is we've cut down these tabs as they talk about in the instructions. I used a Dremel to cut them very carefully so I didn't cut into the valve cover. Then I cleaned them up with a file, made them pretty nice. So now we're ready to install the fuel injector rails. And um, just wanted to mention I use Crytox O-ring grease to grease the O-rings for the fuel injectors. So we'll get those rails started here in a second. And then um, we'll come back and tell you how that went. We've installed the two uh, fuel rails, the passenger and driver side. And there's a hose that goes in the back that goes between the two. And you point it downwards and snug it up. And then there's a hose that goes here that's going to go to the seventh injector. And you can go ahead and plug in all the injectors now. And that's fine. And uh, that's basically the end of this video. Oh, we also connected this hose here and we vacuumed everything out made it nice and clean and nice and neat so that that's basically the end of this video so stay tuned for part five thanks for watching choose